friends, I'm here to read you a story today about empathy. When you are empathetic or you empathize, empathize with someone, that means that you understand and kind of can feel how someone else is feeling. So if someone's feeling sad, you might think of a time you felt sad and then you would be able to empathize with that person. Our story today is called When I Care About Others, written by Cornelia Maud Spellman and illustrated by Kathy Parkinson. When I'm hurt, somebody cares. Some, somebody cares when I'm sick. When I'm sad, somebody helps me feel better. I need others to care about me. Others need me too. When someone is hurt, I feel bad. See, this character is empathizing with the other character. They understand what it feels like to hurt and they feel bad because their friend is hurting. I care when someone is sick. When someone is sad, I help him feel better. I care about others. Others have the same feelings I have. I don't like to be teased, so I don't tease. I don't push because I don't like to be pushed. I am friendly because I like it when someone is friendly to me. When someone shares with me, it feels good. So I share too. I say nice things because I'm happy when someone says nice things to me. I try to help others. I feel glad when I can help. I can imagine how others feel. When you do that, friends, when you're imagining how someone else might feel, you're being empathetic or you're empathizing with how someone might feel. And I treat others the way I want them to treat me. I care about others and others care about me. And that's the end of our story about empathy today. When I care about others reminds us to treat people the way we want people to treat us. What is one way that you are kind to others? I think there's so many ways. I am kind to others when I use nice words to express my feelings. When I use a gentle voice, that helps too. Friends, I miss you so much. I hope you're working on practicing kindness at home. I know you are, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.